In this week's Tableau tip, I'm going to show you how to create barcode charts in Tableau. So what is a barcode chart? Well, I'm looking at this example down here on the bottom. Let me go ahead and lasso this. So this is what I call a barcode chart. So how do we build those in Tableau? I'm going to show you three different data sets and a couple of different ways to do it. To start, I'm going to use the sample EU Superstore. And in this case, I'm going to right click and drag order date to the column shelf. And I'm going to look at data at the weekly level. And you see immediately Tableau changes the mark type to a Gantt. All right, good so far. And what I'm going to do in this case is I'm just going to color code the weeks to know which ones are profitable and which ones are not. So to do that, I'm going to create a calculated field. I'm going to call it is profitable. And I'm going to say the sum of sales, I'm sorry, the sum of profit is bigger than zero. And that's just going to tell me whether or not the weeks are profitable. Hit OK. And I can drag that onto the marks card. And you see I have some weeks that are profitable and some weeks that are not. I'm going to go ahead and change those colors because I want to highlight the ones that are not or that are not profitable. So let me go ahead and make the falses red and go ahead and make the other ones gray. All right, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and filter this down a bit to zoom in on the years. And I'm going to maybe just look at 2012-13 uh, and 14. Now one of the things you'll notice is there's ever so slight spaces that are different between the between the uh, the bars. You can see Tableau isn't actually rendering them all the same width as I would expect. So this is uh, this will answer the question: uh, which weeks are profitable? So another way that you could do this, I'm just going to go ahead and clean this up a bit. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of my title. There we go. And I could even go ahead and uh, make my biz slightly taller. Let me see here. I'm using the wrong keys. OK, there we go. Something like that. All right. And then from here, I like to clean these up a little bit and get rid of all of my formatting. So I'm going to get rid of my zero line. I'm going to get rid of my, trip, my grid lines. And then lastly, I'm going to get rid of my dividers. So it looks like I have, I'm sorry, I need to get rid of my axis rulers. OK. And then lastly, I'm going to go ahead and force my pane divider. None. All right, there we go. All right, so now that's one way we could do it. But again, you can still see these small gaps. Like right here, you'll see that the gap, the, the white space that's in there, it's not all the same. So what's a way that we could work around that? So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that sheet. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just double click on my row shelf. And I'm going to create a calculated field that is the average of 0.5. Or really, it doesn't really matter what value I put in here. And you'll see that Tableau switched it to a line chart. But I'm going to go ahead and change this to a bar. All right, so now all of my bars are, are a little bit too squished together. So I can click on the size shelf, change the size to manual. And there we go. You can sort of play around with the size to get them just the way you want. Now, one of the benefits of this is now all of my bars are evenly spaced. So I'm going to go ahead and untick the include in tooltip and uncheck my show header. So now if I drag this up to make the view smaller, so let me grab the bottom here. OK, you'll see that my bars, well, they still have a slight gap. So why don't I go ahead and I'm going to show my year filter. And let me take one year out so we can look at that a little bit more. OK, so now it looks a little bit better. And I can adjust the size of these so that they're all about the same width. OK. So you can kind of play around with it until you get them just right. You can see when you do bars, the spaces in between look to be a little more even than they do if I come over here and I, let me make this a little bit bigger to make it match. It looks a little bit better than when I use the Gantt. Okay, so uh, let's repeat this process, but this time we're going to uh, do something similar to what I did here on this uh, Bermuda Cup match. So how did I do this one? So I'm going to switch over to my Bermuda Cup match data source. I'm going to drag my year to my columns and notice that it's continuous. And again, Tableau defaults to a Gantt bar. 
So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to put the winner on the color. And, I, and it color codes my bars. And that doesn't look too bad. Let me go ahead and, and uh, copy my formatting from here and paste my formatting on here. OK. Uh, but again, it, if I zoom this in a little bit, so I know my first value, let me cancel that. So my first value is 1902. My last one is 2016. So I'm going to just zoom my axis here to be 1901 and 2017. I'm just going to go one year beyond the edge. Go ahead and double click that and get rid of my title. And there we go. We have it. But the issue is uh, there's, again, there's some very slight space differences in here. So if I were to throw this into a dashboard, let me just make it a nice, uh, not quite so tall dashboard, maybe just about 200 pixels or something like that. And if I put sheet three in here, and let me go ahead and get rid of this. All right, and I can go ahead and change my title. And I could say, who won the Bermuda Cup match? And there we go. All right, but I want these bars to be, uh, again, this, this space, it's a little bit hard to see in this view, but the spacing is still slightly off. So what I would do again is I would go ahead and add in my, uh, my fake measure here, change this to bars, and then adjust my size to be down here somewhere. All right, so now for me, this looks a little bit better. I'm going to go ahead and untick that untick my show header and now if I come back over here uh, my, they're a little bit taller so let me go ahead and I'm going to make them ever so slightly wider because I want them to look nice and uniform okay so now when I go over here to my dashboard you can see that they look a lot better so that's one way to do it uh, and then maybe another example let's look at the global temperature data and again we're going to look at two ways of, of displaying uh, a barcode chart. So I'm just going to drag my year to the columns. Tableau defaults to the Gantt chart. I'm going to look at the average of each, of each year. So I'm just going to pick the average of the median. Oh, sorry, I put that in the wrong place. I actually want to put that on color. And uh, we can see we get uh, that same, let me paste the formatting here and get rid of the, uh, the year. Okay, and again, you can see we've got some slight spacing issues here. So it's really a personal choice. So um, I could say which uh, years are the hottest. All right, and we get something like that. My first year is 1850. My last year is uh, 2016. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and actually let's zoom in to maybe the last 50 years. So I'm going to drag this to the filters. And I'm going to say I want to go from maybe 19, uh, why don't we just go from 1957 to 2017. All right, and you see if we adjust the size of these, all it really does is make them taller. It doesn't really help us as far as the, um, the width of the bars. So if you want to adjust the width of the bars, you can't use a Gantt. Oops. Sorry, let me go back here. So what you need to do again is put that measure here on the rows. So I keep putting average of 0.5, but I could easily just make this the average of 1. It doesn't really matter what I put in there, uh, as long as it's a constant and I change the mark type to bar. So now when I adjust the size of these, you'll see I can control the width of my bar now that I have this as a bar chart. So in this case, I'll go ahead and double click on my header. So I'm going to say 1956 to 2017. So one year on either side of my range. And there we go. So now I can untick the show header and everything fits in there nice and neat. If I wanted to throw all of these together in one dashboard, so I'm going to go with the bar chart options for each of these. So let me fix the title on this one. Okay, I've already done that. So I'm going to put my profitable weeks in here. I'm going to put my, uh, my Bermuda Cup match and then my hottest years. 
So let's go ahead and throw these actually in a container so they're all equally sized. So let's put that one in there, put that one in there, and then let's put this one in there. Okay, great. So now they're all equally sized, and I'm just going to adjust the height so it looks nice and neat. Okay, so what I would do on this Profitable Weeks one, uh, you see I, I like how these are kind of stretched to almost the whole, the whole view here. So what I would do for this one is, uh, let's see what our first week is. So we are looking at uh, December 31st of 2012. So I'm going to actually just change this to uh, maybe December 15th and hit OK. And then our last week here is December 29th, so maybe I'll make it January 15th on this end. So let's go to January, oops, January 15th. So I like to play around with the axis so that it's uh, so that it fits the space a little bit better. You can see you can you can sort of continue to play around with it there as you see fit. So from here, I'm going to just go ahead and remove these so we can see it looks a little bit better. All right, maybe, and, and now if you adjust the width, you'll see um, the, the width of the bars changes ever so slightly. So personally, I like to use these as bar charts because I can control the width of the, the bars themselves, whereas with a, um, uh, with a Gantt chart, you don't get to control the width of the bar, you just get to control the height. So hopefully you found that helpful and uh, picked up a few tips along the way, but that's uh, three, three simple examples for how to create barcode charts in Tableau. All right, have a great day.